Good morning, my confectionaries. Today, I'm going to be making a diabetic pecan pie because there's a lot of people that can't have the sugar and there's a lot of people that doubt diabetic and have health issues. So I wanted to do something for people like that for the holidays. So here's the ingredients as follows. You're going to need a half a stick of butter. If you can see that. Um, you need one fourth of heavy cream or evaporated milk or regular milk. You need three beaten eggs. You need one um, cup of the Truvia or Splenda or whatever kind of low calorie sweetener that you use. You need a fourth of a cup of the Splenda brown sugar. I have one half cup of the maple uh, sugar-free flavor syrup, and that's what I'm going to use for like the Cairo syrup, so that's the substitute for that. Um, we're going to need one cup of pecans. You need one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and you're going to need two tablespoons of cornstarch, and that's just to thicken it up. And you're going to need a pie crust, and I'll be back with the next step. Okay, next up, you're going to take your butter, and we're melting our butter. You're going to pour your uh, syrup in there, and you're going to pour your sugars off in there. And you're going to let it, you're going to bring it to a boil, and then you're going to take it off, and I'll be back with the next step. Okay, my confectionery, once you have bought your corn syrup and your sugars and butter to a boil, you're just going to add in your um, vanilla extract. So we're going to pour that off in there. And you also want to add in your um, two tablespoons of cornstarch. And like I said, that's just to thicken it because it's so thin. And we're going to mix these together. And you're going to pour in your cream. And you want to mix all those together. And I'll be back with the next step. Okay, next step, my confectionaries, we're just going to take our three beaten eggs. And we're going to pour it in there. And we're going to mix it together, and I'll be back with the next step. Okay, next step, we're just going to put your pecans at the bottom of the pie crust. And you're going to take your filling that we had boiled together, and you're just going to pour it all over the pecans. And you're going to bake this on 325 for one hour, and I'll be back with the finished product. Okay, my confectionaries. Here's the pie, I just got it out the oven. Y'all, it baked for one hour, and as you can see, when you press, it bounces back. That's how you know it's done, it's set in the middle, so it has to cool completely before you need to cut it. But y'all, it don't get no better than this. Please like, share, and subscribe this video, and most importantly, make this pie for someone in your family, a loved one, a friend, a coworker that's diabetic, or can't have sugar. Enjoy.